Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here. Welcome back to another video for Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. And today I want to talk about the Lance. The Lance is fantastic in Sunbreak. It is quite possibly one of my most enjoyable iterations of this weapon. I've used the Lance in a number of different games. Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate, it was busted. And of course in Generations there was a lot of fun to be had. But honestly, I think in Sunbreak, while it might not necessarily have absolutely everything, some of the new additions genuinely do feel so much fun to the point that this is probably the most fun I've had with Lance in a very long time. So today, I want to talk about that, talk about my impressions, what I've been enjoying, and just in general shed some light on a few things so you guys may want to consider picking this up. So if you guys do enjoy this, a like would be super appreciated. Comment down below if you have any questions, let me know if you are Lance fans, or if you're going to consider picking up this weapon after this video. So to begin with, again, the Lance is one of those weapons that might not necessarily look too flashy. It is a much more traditional weapon, put it alongside something like the anime special longsword or the explosive switch axe, and you can be forgiven for saying it looks a bit boring. But this weapon is anything but that. It is not a boring weapon. It is a fantastic weapon with admittedly a much more simple moveset, but good use of the lance allows you to quite literally stick to the enemy. You can be so aggressive with this, especially with the addition of some of the new moves in Sunbreak, to the point where you literally are pinned to the monster and you can just maintain an onslaught of attacks. Now over the years Lance of course has had various different permutations. I loved it back in 4 Ultimate because evade lancing was a thing. Evade lancing for any of you guys that are newer to Monster Hunter was busted. If you guys have played the Lance you'll know that it has a triple back hop and back in 4 Ultimate if you threw in max evade and evade extender all while you were back hopping for the entire duration of the triple back hop you were invulnerable to the point where you could quite literally back hop through laser beams, explosions, attacks, provided you were back hopping, you were practically invincible. So in some regards it was a little bit broken, but it was also hella fun to use. The actual attacks themselves, pretty simple, it was just a case of poking the monster and then back hopping to not get hit, but regardless, it was a lot of fun. Then fast forward to generations, we of course had absolute evade lancing, which of course was used with the striker lance, that was also a lot of fun, but again both of those were much more predicated around just using things to avoid being hit, and when it came to the actual onslaught of attacks it was largely speaking just poke. However, fast forward to rise and lance unfortunately got a bit of the sort of short end of the stick. The actual sort of basic attacks were alright, but if you wanted to do optimal damage you were basically using spiral thrust, which is kind of a little bit off for Lance, like it's a cool move, but when you think about what it means to be a Lance player, you've got this big shield, the idea is that you're this iron defense, you stand there, you take hits, you follow up attacks, using spiral thrusts kind of just went against the way the weapon is sort of designed to be used in some regard. So admittedly, if you wanted to be optimal, you were kind of using that, and it wasn't too much fun. But fast forward to Sunbreak, and now we have some fantastic moves, which definitely make this so much fun. The first one, of course, is Shield Tackle. Again, I've said this in a previous video, but I apologize to the Lance back when they released the weapon previews. Admittedly, the trailer didn't do a very good job of showcasing the uh, use case for this weapon, but back then, it looked really boring. It was basically like, hey, here's another Shield Advance, have fun. And I was like, ah, they haven't been very inventive with the Lance, until of course we got hands on with it and realized Shield Tackle allows you to quite literally KO the monster with your weapon. This move is incredible. Described as a technique where you charge forward with your shield raised, as your shield is raised you're able to guard against incoming attacks, and you can also follow up with a variety of thrusting attacks. This is crazy because, of course, with Lance typically you go poke poke poke, back hop, that of course resets your combo, or you can of course do one of your other charge guard options, but this now gives you a third way to reset your combo with the Shield Tackle, which not only can consumes no stamina, allows you to block incoming attacks, but it can also deal KO damage. So now you really do have quite possibly the best iteration for Lance when it comes to resetting your combo. Quite why the Lance only just got this, honestly I don't know, I mean you have a massive shield, it kind of makes sense you should be able to carry the monster, but now you can. This is an absolute game changer and realistically should be one of your go-to switch skill options. Being able to literally sit by the monster's face and continually shield bash with no stamina, and of course then knock it out, that then puts the monster in a very vulnerable position to then be attacked consistently, and of course just outside of that, being able to then firm incoming attacks, you can then continue your Onslaught. Obviously, the Lance has already had plenty of options for firming incoming attacks, but the difference between this one and, say, some of the other ones is that this one, or at least it feels in combat, much more about kind of continuing your onslaught through the attack as opposed to firming it and then following up. Maybe there's only a sort of slight time difference between it, but this is an absolute game changer. So, Shield Tackle, if it's not in your Switch skill scroll, what are you doing? However, in addition to this, we also have Skyward Thrust, which again, you know, I said beforehand in the preview 
wasn't necessarily the most exciting move, but again, admittedly, the lance is not designed to be an anime weapon. As cool as it is to have some over-the-top crazy moves, not every single weapon type suits that, and honestly, the Skyward Thrust is just a really powerful move. It might not be that crazy, but of course it does do multiple hits, but if you do line this up, especially if you get your positioning correct, maybe you've gone and used Shield Tackle to KO the monster, and then you've then taken advantage of the fact that it's then lying on the floor, the head is in prime position, you then go and pull off a Skyward Thrust, and this thing just hits like a truck. So, it is a very good move. However, in addition to that, we of course do also have the sheathing retreat. I'll be honest, this is one of the ones that I don't really use that much. I do have it equipped because it's just a nice thing to kind of have as a backup. But this, generally speaking, just allows you to get out and sheath your weapon. It's useful in that, of course, the lance is not the fastest weapon to sheath. But let's be honest, when you have something like shield tackle that allows you to quite literally firm incoming attacks and continue to battle through attacks, you kind of don't need to sheath your weapon. Like in an ideal situation for the lance, unless you're in like a dire situation where you have like no health, you generally speaking probably aren't going to be putting your weapon away too much. So I don't really use this too much, so I would say it's uh, kind of an optional one, one of those ones that maybe I wouldn't necessarily go as far as to say a wasted slot, but I would say it isn't necessarily something that I would rave about. Of course, other sort of Silkbind moves, some of the older ones, Anchor Rage is still a very, very potent addition, so I do have that on one of my Switch scrolls. But generally speaking, that is pretty much it for Lance as it is. So again, might not necessarily be as flashy as other weapons, might be a little more simple, but this is so satisfying to use. If you have a nice sort of setup and you can just generally stick to the monster and continue attacking it, continue poking it, having that damage up time, firming those attacks, going through, knocking out the monster, it is so satisfying. When you get your flow down, you kind of can't beat that feeling. So, there we have it. There are a few thoughts on Lance so far. I've been messing around with it a lot. Obviously, you guys know I love my sword and shield, but I have been messing around with quite a few other weapons recently, and the Lance is definitely one of the ones that I have been enjoying the most. So, if you guys have missed some of the recent videos, be sure to check out one of these ones. Again, give me your thoughts on the Lance down below. Let me know if you guys are enjoying it, if you've got any handy tips that your fellow hunters should know about the Lance, and do be sure to keep it locked for plenty more.